Well, good morning. It's another day in the Twisted Nut Woodshop. This is August the 7th, 2012. And I'm going to show you a, a jig for cutting circles on your bandsaw. Um, most of the time that uh, you cut a circle, it's a lot easier on a bandsaw, if you have one, than it is in a jigsaw. You don't have to sand to the line. And it's very, very accurate, uh, depending on your jig and, and how, you, uh, how you do it. But in my case, I have this panel here that's um, fashioned. Pretend this corner is still there. Uh, it's, the perimeter has got a space uh, built up to allow for the clearance of this clamping block. And you can see this clearance is developed right here where this notch is cut. And then the extension of this uh, runner here, which goes in the slot on your table, is the thickness of the slot minus a sixteenth. The reason you want it less than is so it doesn't drag in the slot and make a problem for introducing the jig into the bandsaw. Then it has a clamp block down here that uh, a screw loosens from the other side and then allows the clamp block to slide back and forth. The groove is a quarter inch all the way through, starting from out here at this end, all the way through. And when you put in your runner, you'll have you'll glue that, so therefore the the strength of the panel here won't be uh, 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 weakened. So it's held back here with this um, uh, rest of the notch that's not cut. And so this corner's still on there. Pretend. And then you put your runner in there, start your bandsaw, and you run it through and this part will drop off, this corner here. I've got it set with mine bandsaw here to go flush with this edge so that the leading cutting edge of the blade is right exactly in the center of this groove or the pivot pin. Before um, I had it where it was clamped on that other corner and it was inconvenient so Ben, um, him and I were talking on the IRC Whisperer channel and I told him I thought of a better way to do this and I would redo it. So after you push it through you just clamp it. Now your pieces that you're cutting um, say you're going to do a 14 inch circle so you would set measure your from the blade to the center of the pivot pin and then set that to 7 inches and then clamp it down. But the part that you're going to make a circle out of you want it to be bigger than 14 inches so you'll cut it say 14 and a quarter. So with the clamp off, you slide the jig out, put your piece that you're going to cut circle onto your pivot pin, slide your jig in until it's flush with your table, or like in my case this uh, special rail I did, um, and you just push it through until it's where it needs to be and clamp it down and then you just spin the wood because it's being cut as you push this jig through and then you just spin it around and then presto you got a circle turn off your bandsaw take off the clamp pull it out or just lift them up off the pin you probably want to have the um, the, run, uh, the uh, blocks or your bearings or whatever you're using uh, well up from your table surface so you don't get them involved in what you're doing it's not important right now I've got a three-quarter inch blade sit on there but for doing circles uh, in my experience uh, a quarter inch is plenty wide and it gives you a nice tight circle whereas a three-quarter you're not going to get that um, and the pin the pivot pin is just a really small uh, nail uh, I drilled the hole a little undersized and then forced the pin in there and the, the screw is a Phillips head and it's flush it's a um, flathead screw so that it's below the surface of the jig and beyond that uh, what you want to do is uh, ultimately you want to have your jig about two-thirds of the depth of your table. In my case this is almost 30 inches. So if you measure your table, take two-thirds of that and that will leave you plenty of room of uh, balance um, support over here on this side for your circle to go through. And that's it. That's all I can show you about that. And thank you for watching and we'll talk at you later. Bye.